Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome in the Vikings now by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman, coming in on our weekly live show. I'm super fired up to get into it today. Going a little later. I had a little later day here at the Chat Sports office, but still wanted to get on and get live with you guys. Let's start it off like we always do. Let the audience build up here a little bit and show off your purple pride down in the comment section and give me a skull down below. I already saw Roger Bong, Ty Man, the Buckeye, Robert, already over 70 people with us at the start of today's show. Tornado in the chat, Force in the chat as well. I was hoping to have some newer audience as we did uh, decide to go live later today, um, which is cool to see. So shout out to all you guys tuning in. Mookus in the chat, Mason Vla or Mason Vang, Douglas, Skull Nation, Ty Man, the Buckeye, Ty, man, I was actually just saying to a couple people uh, out in the Chat Sports office that Vikings Now is your second favorite show here at Chat Sports, and hopefully I am right. Obviously, you're loyal to the Browns report. They're top dog. They're your Michael Jordan. But I was throwing it out there that Vikings Now is a sneaky show that Ty, man, the buck I really like. So I was just kind of talking shit to a couple of people in the office. But Samuel in the chat, Blueski in the chat, shout out to you. Billy Bob in the chat. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As we got a loaded show today, specifically uh, around the Washington Commanders, as I really do believe that they are not set on taking a quarterback just yet with that number two overall pick. They have met with a ton of quarterbacks over the past couple of days, and with the draft about a week away, starting to connect some dots and read some tea leaves that maybe, just maybe, the Vikings could be trading up with the Washington Commanders to draft Drake May as Rob Jigga. What up, Rob? Saying, Seeps, I need the Vikings to trade the fourth for J.J. McCarthy to get my draft to go the way I want. Tell your GM to make it happen. Pretty please. Hey, Rob, I definitely do expect um, the Vikings to be trading up for a quarterback. Will it be J.J. McCarthy, Drake May, Jaden Daniels? Who knows? But before we dive into more about the Commanders trade here in a little bit, as we got Rebel Viking in the chat, Brian Sanchez saying, what's up, bud? How you doing, Brian? Shout out to you for tuning in. I'm Maury J in the chat saying, go up for Daniels or stay put. Hashtag skull. Hey, I'm all, I'm all in on Daniels. I said it. Second best quarterback in this year's class will be whoever the hell the Minnesota Vikings draft. But uh, we'll put the draft off for a little bit. I want to ask you guys this question. Do you guys believe in Sam Darnold heading in the next season? Just give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Because look, he's only 26 years old. I don't really think he's had a fair shot in the NFL, and I think he's going to have his best chance um, with the Minnesota Vikings next season. So do you guys believe in Sammy D? Let me know your thoughts down below. Is Tornado saying no? He's an above average backup. Ty Man saying yes. Robert saying yes. Roger saying yes as well. Bob saying yes. Skull Nation saying Sammy D is him. Rebel Vikings saying they can have Caleb Williams. I don't want a QB with pink nails and a pink iPhone. Yeah, that, uh, that, that video of Caleb Williams went viral. I didn't really make too much of it. Um, I think it's with this younger generation coming in. You know, you know, you think about what like Dennis Rodman was wearing for the Chicago Bulls back in the day. Like, I just, I, I just don't necessarily think it's that big of a deal that he was, you know, painting his nails and all that. But some people did. But I don't know. I just personally don't think it's that big of an issue. But Kurt saying could be SD. Yeah, listen. Uh, as Davy, uh, Davy Chains in the chat. What's up, Davy? Saying I'm not overly thrilled about trading up. For a King's Ransom to get a guy that sit the first year. Okay, Davey, so I'm actually going to address that in our first segment. I think a lot of Vikings fans are a little gun-shy about trading up for a quarterback, but I, yeah, Blueski's saying a little zesty, but I guess. He is a little zesty. He's got a little flamboyant in him, and I'm not saying there's any issue with that at all. It's just, uh, I think with this newer generation of kids coming up, I just think it's a I just, I just, I just, I just think it's different. I just, I just think it's different. But appreciate you guys getting your thoughts in on Sam Darnold. I'm a believer. I've said this countless times. I think Sam Darnold will start the entire year one for Minnesota. But let me know if you guys had to pick a quarterback in this year's draft class to be the QB for the Vikings. Let me know who it would be between Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, or Jaden Daniels. I actually give you guys my list in order. I have came to the conclusion um, that Drake May is my number one option for Minnesota, but then number two is J.J. McCarthy, and then I actually have a pretty, I don't want to say sizable gap between McCarthy and Jaden Daniels, but 
my man, oh man, I would uh, I would just freaking love if McCarthy was a quarterback for the Vikings as well. But Stan, hey, they're saying Jaden. Amari saying JD. Peyton saying Drake May. Uncle Neil Soft Feet is saying Daniels. Roger is saying whoever falls to 11. I'll tell you what, guys. I have a trade idea coming up here in a second that may turn a couple of you guys off. It would be the Vikings sending an absolute haul to the Washington Commanders, but... I think the Commanders have a. I think they have a chance to do it. I think. I think they have a chance to, uh, you know, possibly trade down. And I'll explain my reasonings here in a little bit. Kind of wanted to tease it just a little more, but I'll explain to you guys my thoughts here in a second. But also coming up on today's show, we are going to be having a mailbag as well. So if you guys want to direct the ship, uh, ask me anything, whatever it may be, use hashtag Vikings, or you guys can super chat. Get the show rolling. We can also have a couple of drinks. Hey, I'm throwing this out there. Bosses are right out the studio right now, but I said it. Maybe every $10 Super Chat we get today, I bring out. We got the 1800 tequila. Maybe I'll take a shot at tequila and celebrate with you guys. As uh, We are about a week away from the NFL draft, and I am oh so very excited. Um, so, yeah, hashtag Vikings. Get any question you want around your team in Minnesota. And, uh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Hashtag Vikings. Ask me whatever you want. Um, and you guys can really uh, steer the ship as Uncle Neil saw feet saying bring back Dante Culpepper. Tell you what, Dante Culpepper with this roster, pretty similar to when he used to have Moss and Chris Carter. We kind of have the new version of that in Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison. Question, where do you watch the draft live? I will actually be here in the chat sports studios. We will be live here on the channel, so I cannot wait for that. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. So hopefully you guys... Uh, do all turn in. Rebel Viking, love that question. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, Uncle Niels is laughing about that. Could you imagine, though? Could you imagine Dante Culpepper with this team? That would be uh, they would be pretty good. Get drunk until the draft. Hey, Amori, I said it. $10 super chat. I wanna, I'm curious to see who's going to start us off. Um, and I will be taking a shot at tequila, celebrating with you guys, trying to get a Trying to get a little buzz going uh, here for the show. So if you guys want to help me out. And also, uh, <laughs> uh, Davey, Davey Chan saying, want to see Seeps get hammered like Lumbagus on last year's post game. Yeah, that was the Niners post game. I was, uh, I was going a little bit. You guys, you guys got me going. You guys were showing a lot of love. And I had to celebrate with you guys. Because at that time when the Vikings beat the Niners last year on Monday Night Football, I was, I was talking Super Bowl here on the channel. Obviously, if you guys know me, I'm a very optimistic Vikings fan. So, you know, I kind of I kind of get carried away a little bit. But that was a ton of fun. And also, shout out to you guys. But coming up on today's show, let's break it down. Let's break it down. We're going to have a ton of fun. I'm excited. I'm self-producing today's live show back in our old watch party studio. A little throwback Thursday for your man Seeps here. And, uh, man, I'm excited. But coming up, we're going to be talking about the commanders. Are they open to a trade down? I have... A pretty strong gut feeling that they actually are. And I'll explain those thoughts here in a second. But also, I'm going to be getting into five blockbuster draft day trades for you, uh, for your Minnesota Vikings. And then also, we are going to be getting into a mailbag. So if you guys want to, hashtag Vikings. I already got Rebel Viking in the chat as well. But literally, your question will be thrown up on screen right here. And uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I love our mailbag. See what you guys have to say around the topics around your football team. But then also, if you guys are ready to go, just give me a freaking skull down in the comment section. Let's flood the comments again with some skulls. And, hey, I said it. Maybe I'm trying to take a shot before this first segment. Loosen up a little bit. Every $10 Super Chat that comes in today, I'm taking a shot of tequila. So if you guys want to drink at home with me, as OP expert, type in skull. Kurt Von Meyer, type in skull. The skulls are flooding in the chat. Over 100 people watching so we're going to be breaking down a thought I had. This is not from any reporter. This is not from any uh, insider. This is a thought I had connecting some dots that I actually really do believe. The Washington Commanders are a lot more open to trading down than people think. We'll dive into that here shortly. Turning the WNBA draft on for a second. A bunch of Come on, Uncle Niels. OP expert saying, yo, what's up, Vikings chat? Let's go. Shout out to you guys. Hey, we want 114 people. Give me 114 skulls down below. Shout out to Ty, man, in the chat. That was, a, that was a signature during our watch parties. But my man, Roger Bong. 
What up, Rod? Sorry I haven't been getting back to you on Twitter. It's been hectic around here, but Roger, you're my guy. Give me some knucks down in the chat. As you see that football in his profile pick, I love it. That was a real one football we gave away during the year. But hey, every $10 super chat that comes in today, I'm going to be taking a shot at Tequila and my man Roger Bond got us started. As we already got some Skull Rogers going in the chat, if you guys have already typed Skull Roger, I know you're a real one, but show the man some love. Show the man some love. He's a veteran, so I just uh, I always appreciate I always appreciate Raj tuning in. But we're going to take a shot at Tequila for my man. Then we're going to get into today's show, Skull Nation, saying we love you. Hey, Skull Nation, I love you guys too. I'm just happy to be the face of this great community we built here on Vikings now. So, Roger, cheers to you, my friend. Yeah, that's a – that's a that's, – might need to chase that, actually. Might need to chase that with some water. But cheers to Roger, man. Cheers to Roger. Uh, $10 Super Chat, we're taking a shot. But we are going to be diving into today's show. We're going to be talking about the commanders are possibly open to a trade. And I really do believe it. So we're going to dive into that here. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in uh, to today's live show. Went a little later. I had a little uh, later start here uh, for my day here at Chat Sports. But I still wanted to go live. So I appreciate all of you guys tuning in. But hey. You guys are ready? You guys are ready to break this down? Give me a scold down below in the comment section, and we can dive into this sucker. I'm super excited uh, to get into this first segment, as I really do believe the Washington Commanders are a lot more open to a trade um, than a lot of people think. Tom Lyles in the chat. Uncle Neils. We got a Lions fan showing me love. TB saying skull. Let's go. If you guys are ready, I'm about to get this puppy rolling, and uh, let's dive into it. Are the Commanders open to a trade? Let's talk about it. Could the Washington Commanders be open to trading the number two pick in this year's NFL draft? We're going to be breaking that down on today's show. Welcome to the Vikings Now by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman, as we got an interesting show to dive into. As I truly do believe that the Washington Commanders are a lot more open to trading down in this year's draft than a lot of people think. I'll give you guys my thoughts here in a second, but first, I want to get to this quote from Brian Diardo, who's pretty tapped in with uh, Washington, and he had this report early on today. He says, in an unorthodox move, an unorthodox move, the commanders, Brass, is meeting with top quarterback prospects Jaden Daniels, Drake May, and J.J. McCarthy at the same time, according to Sports Illustrated. The meetings will begin Tuesday night and run through Wednesday. Also a key note here, Michael Penix, was also involved in those meetings. And this is why I think the commanders are more open to trading down than a whole lot of people think. Why would Washington, as we are a week away from the NFL draft starting, still be going through this process of sitting all of these quarterbacks down and still getting to know them, you know, doing whatever they have to do, if they weren't already set on one, I feel like they would just be meeting with that guy. Because we have heard reports that they are all in on Jaden Daniels. He's been the quarterback linked to them the most. Well, then why would they be bringing in other quarterbacks? Why would they be bringing in Michael Penix a week before the draft? I think there's a lot of conflicting thoughts and conflicting opinions in that Washington Commanders front office and in that whole brass. And I think they're a whole lot more open to trading down. And I think they're keeping all options on the table. I think they're saying, you know what, if we don't get an offer that completely blows us away, we are going to sit there at pick number two and draft a quarterback. But with them going through this whole process and bringing in four quarterbacks a week before the draft, and it's not one of those situations where they don't know who's going to go number one. It is no doubt going to be Caleb Williams. But why would the commanders bring in all those guys and put them through this whole process if they were not already set on one quarterback, I just think there's a lot of juice to this. And I think the Vikings could be that team that may be calling Washington maybe over the net or maybe next week before the draft and trying to land their guy, Drake May. We'll dive into that here in a second. But first, I got to make sure all of you guys are subscribed here to Vikings Now by Chat Sports. We are in a subscriber battle with probably the team I hate the most in the NFL in Saints now by Chat Sports. They got a 2,000 sub lead on us, but I want to catch them by the end of the NFL draft. So if you guys are new here and have not hit subscribe yet, 
I really encourage you to do so. Help me out. It's a great message to send to my bosses that we want more kind of resources and ammunition thrown into this Vikings channel. So hit that sub button right now. Lock us in as you go to uh, Vikings YouTube channel. And hey, also, if you guys just want to stick at the Saints fans as well, that's also another great reason to do so. So now, what would a trade look like for the Minnesota Vikings in terms of them trading up with Washington? A lot of you guys are not going to like the trade idea I have, but first, I do want to go back and look at past draft day trades that have gone down in the NFL. So let's talk about this first trade here. So this was when the Eagles did select Carson Wentz when they traded up to number two overall. They had the eighth pick, and they gave up two fourths, a third, and a future first. So not a big haul, but also they were only moving up eight spots. Well, what about Washington? When they did trade to go get RG3 back in the day, they gave up a haul for him. They gave up the sixth pick. They gave up a second round pick. And then they also gave up two additional first round picks to only move up four spots. I think people need to realize you can go on any draft chart you want and you and they don't incorporate the QB tax, but also they don't incorporate the tax that that team at pick number two, three, or four may want to draft a quarterback themselves. So this is the trade I cooked up. And a lot of you guys may freak out here, but honestly, I think I would do it. So it would be the Minnesota Vikings trading up and landing the number two overall pick, but they would be giving up an absolute haul. They'd be giving up picks 11 and 23, and then also two first-round picks over the next two seasons, 2025 and 2026. I get it. This is an absolute haul for the Minnesota Vikings to do it. But what if Drake May ends up being Justin Herbert? What if he ends up being Josh Allen? What if he is a true top five quarterback in the NFL? Are you really going to be worried about those future first round picks? I really don't think so. Now, you may be saying this to yourself. Well, Patrick, why would Washington even consider? Why would they even consider moving off the number two overall pick? Well, let's break it down. My number one reason, their roster just frankly is not ready for a rookie quarterback. You know, I've had the same thoughts on the Commanders and the Patriots that I just don't believe they're a good landing spot for a rookie QB. And if I was like Jaden Daniels' friend, family member, whatever it may be, your former teammate, I would be really hoping he doesn't go to Washington because are they ready for a rookie quarterback to step in there week one and be the starter? Hell no. In terms of the Vikings, are they ready? 100% yes. And the Vikings offer the ability to a rookie quarterback to sit for one season. And then also this with Washington. Maybe they still want to draft a quarterback. You still have other great options. You have a guy like Michael Penix, who they are meeting with this week. A week before the draft, the Washington Commanders are meeting with Michael Penix. And I'll tell you what, they are meeting with him to draft him number two. They are meeting with him in a potential trade down where they still get a quarterback. So they still have that option. And then number three for me. Let's just say, you know, I could also say this for the Minnesota Vikings. Even if they would trade up for Drake May, and he doesn't work out, and he's just one of the biggest busts of all time, like, yes, the Vikings staff could get fired as well. But if you're Washington, new head coach, new GM in the building, are you willing to kind of risk that number two pick on a quarterback that maybe necessarily you don't truly love? I don't know. It could get them fired if he doesn't work out. Then also number four, and I think this is where the Vikings come into play. They would give them an overwhelming offer. Um, let's just say Washington's sitting there, and this kind of ties into my fifth point, that they don't love any quarterback. Let's just say they like Drake May. They like Jaden Daniels. They like J.J. McCarthy. But they don't love any of these quarterbacks. I could see them taking an offer from the Minnesota Vikings, like this one, where you are legitimately giving up. Yes, it would be a pick swap, 11-2, to two, and then three additional first-round picks. But I think that would be the tax it would require for the Vikings to move up from 11 to 2. You would have to give up pick 23. You would have to give up a future first round pick. And also with this trade, if let's just say Quasi's already got this on the table, I mean, if you're Washington and you see this come through and you're GM Adam Peters, you are definitely considering this trade. Like you are sitting there and thinking, man, we could go get Penix at 11 and then have three more first round picks coming in. I don't know. I understand this is a haul, but Vikings fans, just please remember this. What if Drake May ends up being Josh Allen? What if he ends up being Justin Herbert? And I am so sick and tired 
of being stuck in this NFL purgatory where the Vikings aren't good enough to compete for championships, but they also aren't bad enough to be at the top of the draft and draft a quarterback. Because think about this. You're going to give Drake May or whoever it is three seasons, no doubt, correct? So you're going to get, and also if he sits a year, you're going to give him probably three after that. Are you really concerned about that first round pick in 25 and 26? And let's just say Drake May ends up being Justin Herbert. These picks could be in the early to late 20s potentially. But enough of my thoughts. Let me know what you guys have to say. Would you accept this trade? Or maybe you're a Washington Commanders fan watching today's show. Let me know your thoughts. Give me an A for accept or give me a D for decline. I am very curious to see what you Vikings fans have to say about this one. This is an absolute haul. But let me know your thoughts, Vikings fan or a Commanders fan. Let me know if you would do it. I'm assuming a lot of you guys may say D for decline, but, man, if it would be for Drake May, I would definitely, definitely consider it. But coming up next, I do have a quote from Jeremy Fowler that is suggesting that the Vikings could be all in on Drake May. And that's why I kind of connect this to the Commanders side of the story where, you know, maybe the Minnesota Vikings are truly considering sending a godfather an overwhelming offer to go get the North Carolina quarterback. We'll get into that in a second. But first off, I do want to tell you guys about today's sponsor, and that is Prize Picks. If you guys head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code CLNS, we will match your first deposit up to $100. Even though the football season is not uh, on right now, the Minnesota Timberwolves are starting their playoff run this Saturday versus the Phoenix Suns. So if you guys want to create a lineup for that game, do it at prize picks. Make sure you guys head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS and we're going to match your first deposit up to $100. It's simple how you play. You just pick two or more players. Then you're going to choose more than or less than on their stat projections and you guys can start seeing the cash roll in today. It could be a boring game or it could be a game that maybe you don't think has a lot of juice to it. I'll tell you what, the number one way to add juice to a game create a prize picks lineup. I'll put this link for you guys in the comment section and description of today's show. Check them out. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code CLNS and we'll match your first deposit up to $100. So are the Minnesota Vikings all in on Drake May? You know, I've always have, you know, people in the chat sports office, they always ask me like, hey, see, who do you think is the number one option for the Minnesota Vikings front office and their coaching staff heading in the next season? I've been in the camp that I think it's Drake May, and actually ESPN's very own Jeremy Fowler thinks that Drake May would be a perfect fit in Minnesota. This is what he had to say. He says, multiple evaluators pointed out Minnesota is the perfect place for May in that regard. Should the Vikings move up to get him? Scouts noted he's smart, relaxed, and even witty in interviews. And, th and listen, this just gets me to this point. And I haven't really came out and said officially who is my number one choice for the Vikings, you know, in terms of who I want them to draft. But I think I'm at that point right now. Drake May is my number one choice. And, you know, I was debating between him and J.J. McCarthy because you got to consider, like, it would take a whole lot more if the Vikings trade up to go get Drake May in comparison for McCarthy. But I think it would be worth it. And I would be willing to give up both years first and the next two first-round picks to go and get him because of this. Look at the Vikings roster. I want everybody to imagine. Let's just change out Drake May's name for Justin Herbert because that's a comparison we have gotten. That's what a lot of scouts think he has the potential to be. Let's just say he ends up being him. Could you imagine Justin Herbert on this roster right now? What would we be saying about the Vikings heading into next season? Super Bowl contenders? NFC North favorites? NFC favorites? 100% we would be saying that. So I understand it is hard to pull the trigger on that trade I was talking about early on in today's show, but it would be worth it if this guy ends up being who he is. That's why he is my number one choice for Minnesota. Number two for me, J.J. McCarthy. Um, I understand J.J. McCarthy. You know, there's a lot of haters out there. There's a lot of people that I just don't think fully understands his game, but he is by far the number two choice for me, and there's a big gap between him and Jaden Daniels. Number one. And I know quarterback wins are not the end-all, be-all when evaluating a quarterback. But I think it speaks to something about him dating back to his freshman year of high school. He has only lost three games he started. Really think about that. He has lost three games he has started. Also, I like this aspect. He's the youngest quarterback in this year's draft class. 
So like I, I kind of get bothered when I see people like comparing Daniels to J.J. McCarthy, and they're like, oh, look at Daniels. He threw the ball uh, downfield way more. He's a way better thrower. He's got way better tape this past season. And listen, I don't necessarily disagree with you, but I think when you're evaluating these quarterbacks, you kind of have to project a little bit. And me projecting where J.J. McCarthy would be in three years, considering Jaden Daniels is three classes ahead of McCarthy, I think J.J. is going to be significantly, significantly better than him. So if I had to pick a quarterback to start, you know, week one next season, J.J. McCarthy might not be top five on my list. But in terms of projecting what they could be in the NFL, J.J. is number two for me. And then number three is Jaden Daniels. Um, I Listen, I like Jaden Daniels a lot. Um, you know, I'm not a biggest fan of him as other people, but I think he would work out in Minnesota. But I don't know. I just have concerns that he's only really had one solid year of production in his entire career in college. And that was his past season when he was throwing to Brian Thomas. He was throwing to Malik Neighbors. So I just think that's, you know, some red flags there in his game. But overall, again, second best quarterback in this year's class will be whoever the hell the Minnesota Vikings pick. But maybe you guys disagree with me. Maybe you want to call me an idiot, do it down in the comments section. Pick a quarterback for me. Give me a DM for Drake May. Give me a JJ for JJ McCarthy. Or give me a JD for Jaden Daniels. Curious to see what you guys have to say. Hopefully I maybe uh, swung a couple of opinions down below about maybe having McCarthy and May over Daniels. But hey, that's why I love chat sports. Love getting you guys involved and love hearing your guys' thoughts and reading the comments section. But also, guys, I want to ask you guys to hit that sub button. We are going to be going live for the draft. So if you guys haven't already, haven't subbed to the channel just yet, I would really appreciate it if you guys could. Can't wait for the NFL draft. It's going to be a ton of fun. And maybe, just maybe, the Vikings will pull off the impossible and trade up to number two and land Drake May in this year's draft. We'll obviously, just have to wait and see. But see you all next time. As always, Skull Vikes. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Over 200 people watching. Shout out to the Vikings fans. 200 people in the building showing up today on today's live show. I appreciate you. Sean Preston saying, I'm a Skins fan. Sean, I don't know if you saw my trade idea. Would you do it? You are getting 11, 23, and two first-round picks the next two seasons. Zach Fortnite in the chat saying, but DM would be okay. Appreciate you, Zach. I'm with you. Rebel Viking saying, DM, but not at your cost. See, guys, this is the thing. This is the thing. Rebel Viking, let me ask you this. Would you give up 11, 23 in the next two first round picks for Justin Herbert? And you guys, you guys can answer that down in the chat. Like, would you offer or would you take that deal for Justin Herbert? 11, 23, and the next two first round picks. Okay, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. And that's okay. Maybe, and that, and that is where we disagree, and that is okay. I love going back and forth with you guys. See, crypto's saying no. I personally would. I would do it because no position moves the needle more than any other in all sports than quarterback. I would do it, and honestly, all right, let me ask you guys this. Let me ask you guys this. Do you think the Vikings would be a Super Bowl contender with Justin Herbert? Like a true Super Bowl contender, because I can make the argument they could be the best team in the NFC with Herbert. Yeah, they would be. I think they 100% would be. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I know it's scary. I understand it's risky, but hey, man, if you want to be great, whether it's life, NFL, no matter what it is, you're going to have to get risky eventually. But we did get a $10 super chat coming in from my man, Martin Neuter. I already saw the Skull Martins coming in the chat before we started the cut. If you guys could, show my man Martin some love. Send in the 10. Martin, I'll take a shot for you, my friend. Give me a Skull Martin. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what? Before I do that, so we got my dad in the chat right now. If you guys know, his uh, alias on YouTube is Rocky. And my dad was saying that he thinks there's a possibility that the Vikings send Justin Jefferson and pick 23 to the Arizona Cardinals for pick four. I'm just curious, would you guys do that? Jefferson and pick 23 to pick number four where they would get probably their quarterback, maybe J.J. McCarthy, then they would still be able to draft a wide receiver at 11. One pouring up that shot. Uh, let me Just let me know what you guys would say, because I'll tell you what. I was telling my dad, I would never trade Jefferson. Never. Mark saying, hell no. No, you guys are all saying no. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I would. Now, let me ask you guys this, though. 
Let me ask you guys this. Vikings fan number one, how you doing? Would you trade Jefferson straight up for the fourth pick? No picks involved. Where then the Vikings on draft night have 4, 11, and 23. Would you do it? No, you're still saying no. Okay, I was, I was just curious where the fan base was. I was just curious where the fan base was. All right, all right. I'm just, I'm just checking, guys. Don't get mad at me. This is my dad's idea. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. But cheers to you, Martin. I said it every $10 Super Chat comes in. We're taking a shot of tequila. So shout out to you. Woo! All right. Chase that down with some water. Ah, feeling good, guys. Feeling good. Appreciate you guys tuning in, man. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah, Uncle Neils, uh, yeah, you would be saying Jefferson sucks. Lord Buddy Bear. What up, Buddy Bear? How you doing? Welcome into Vikings now. Welcome into Vikings now. DDD PPP saying you coming to the UK for the game this year, Pat. Oh man, I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. But unfortunately not. We'll be live here on the channel for the game in the UK. Mark saying through the shot and tell you and sit your dad down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just throwing it out there. My dad was talking about it. He thinks there's a chance, and I was trying to tell him, hell no, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But, hey, coming up here in a second, in about 20 minutes or so, we are going to be getting into a mailbag. So if you guys want, send in a super chat, get your thoughts up on screen, or you guys could just do hashtag Vikings. Let me actually see how many questions I have. Guys, I am self-producing this, so I would, uh, I would really, really appreciate it. If uh, you guys could get a lot of questions in there, it's just so I'm not like scrolling through questions while I am uh, self-producing this. V. Lyle saying, any clue who we get in that quarterback? V. Lyle is like, ah, people have asked me this all the time, like who you think they're going to get. I think it's either McCarthy or May, but between those two, I have no idea. Like, I, I, I really have no idea. You remember the Parvin and Rice years coming in from Marvin? Or Martin, Martin, I got, I, I heard that. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I do. So 2009, I was 10 years old. Um, and yeah, I do. My, I actually, there's a video out there. I think my parents have it where I'm like breaking down in tears after the Saints NFC Championship game, like literally breaking down in tears. So yeah, I was a, I was a diehard fan. All right, so Rocky's throwing this in there now. What if Jefferson wants 40 million a year? That's a good point. Ooh, GI Wizard. I love that question. Shout out to you. GIS Wizard. Appreciate you. Great question. Lord Buddy Bear saying, about to go on a Zoom call with Mitch. Tell him I say what's up. Tell him I say what's up. Harvard and Rice were dope. Yeah, Sidney Rice was one of my favorite receivers of all time. Sidney Rice was one of my favorite receivers of all time. Hey, Buddy Bear, I'll throw this out there. $100 Super Chat, I'll do a boot on today's show. I'll do a boot, $100 Super Chat, three beers and a boot. Probably have to do that at the end of the show, and then uh, and we can have some fun. But we are going to be diving into five massive trade ideas I have for the Vikings on draft day. Um, we're going to get wild with this. We're going to get wild with this one, with the draft, you know, just around the corner, about a week away. Wanted to have some fun here. Um... Tom Miles saying, suit up. DDD saying, met Rice last year, came over for a Vikings UK fan club event. Really nice guy. That's really cool. DDD, thank you so much for sharing that. That's awesome. Great to hear. Great to hear. David saying, Marvin Harrison Jr., better than Jefferson. Yeah. I disagree. I disagree. I think Jefferson's all-time great. And I think Harrison will be as well. I'm, I'm huge on Marvin Harrison. Like, huge on Marvin Harrison. I think Harrison and Jefferson are the two best receivers for the next 20 years. Or not 20 years, 10 years. All right. Well, if you guys are ready, we're going to be diving into five blockbuster NFL draft day trades that the Vikings could um, that they could have. Again, $10 Super Chat. If you guys want to support the show, I would really appreciate it. Send a great message to my bosses. And also, I'm self-producing today's show. If we got a lot of Super Chats on today's show, I promise you I won't need to do this anymore. It's just kind of how it works here at Chat Sports. But enough of that. Enough of that. Appreciate you guys getting your questions in there. Shout out to you guys. Skull Cards 18. 
my, 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 my man. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. All righty. You guys are ready? I am ready. Let's dive into today's uh, second show. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Vikings Now by Chat Sports. Coming up on today's show, we're diving into five blockbuster NFL draft day trades for your Minnesota Vikings, as it's looking more likely than not that the Vikings will be trading up in this year's draft and landing possibly the franchise quarterback for Minnesota. But before we dive into that, if you guys want the Vikings to draft a quarterback, it's simple. Give me a like on today's show. Send a message to the Vikings front office. Maybe we got Quezzy's niece, nephew, son, daughter, whatever it may be watching today's show, and they're coming across this, and they see that I asked you guys to like it. Hey, maybe we could hit 1,000 likes. Send a message to the Vikings brass that the Vikings fans want a quarterback. So if you guys could like today's show, I would really, really appreciate it. But I do want to start back and looking back in time and looking at past draft day trades. Because I definitely think that uh, matters in terms of looking at how much it would cost to trade up for a quarterback. So let's go back to the Carson Wentz trade up from the Philadelphia Eagles. They were picking pick eight and they wanted to get the pick two. What did it cost them? Well, it cost them a third and a fourth round pick and then a future first and then also a future fourth. So not that big of a haul. But let's kick it to Washington. When they traded up for RJ3, also took Kirk Cousins the same year, which is absolutely incredible that they took Kirk Cousins and RG3 in the same draft. Pretty funny to think about. But to move up from pick six to number two, it took them an additional second and in a two additional first round picks. So, hey, it's going to take a lot to trade up. Just keep that in mind. But this was my overwhelming offer. This was my, I don't want to say this is my godfather. No, I will. This is my godfather offer where it's like the Vikings are going all in on Drake May. A lot of you guys are going to freak out. But this was the trade idea I cooked up. It's the Vikings obviously getting the number two pick. And then the Vikings will be sending picks 11, 23, and then 2025 first and a 2026 first to move up. Low context for you guys here. It took the, who is it? The, the Rams, if we're looking back at this trade, it took the Rams or the Commanders to move up four spots. It took them two first round picks and an additional second. Just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. But then also this. With the Vikings trading up the number two, I honestly, I understand this is, a, this is a massive offer to give up. But let's just say Justin Herbert, or let's just say Drake May turns out to be Justin Herbert. Or Josh Allen. Whatever quarterback you want. Because those are the two he's been compared to the most. I promise you, when the Vikings are competing for Super Bowls in years 2025 and 2026, we will not be worried as Vikings fans about those first round picks. We could look at the Los Angeles Rams when they went all in and they traded Jared Goff and two first round picks for Matt Stafford. A lot of people were freaking out. They got one of those though. And I'm sick of the Vikings being stuck in the purgatory zone of the NFL. Either be so bad where you just are naturally drafting in the top five where you can go get that franchise quarterback. Or you go all in and you compete for Super Bowls. And I think if Drake May works out and he lives up to that potential, it could happen but let's just say the commanders say no and they're not trading this is another trade that could go down on draft night with the new england patriots the vikings getting the third pick then you would be giving up picks 11 and 2023 but only one future first round pick and a future third so let's just say the commanders they want to take take Jaden daniels which a lot of signs are indicating that maybe the vikings send a pretty heavy offer to the new england patriots to get that third pick and then you draft drake may that's what, that is honestly for me, one of my dream scenarios that is likely is that the commanders take Jaden Daniels, Patriots don't necessarily love May too much, and they are calling the Minnesota Vikings, seeing what their best offer would be, would be. telling you guys, I understand giving up first round picks is, you know, it's tough because you don't want to completely sell the farm on something that could work, but with where the Vikings are at, I just think it makes a whole, whole, whole lot of sense for them. Now, let's talk about this trade. So this would be with the Arizona Cardinals. I, I think this is likely. However, I think the Vikings may need to throw on more draft capital. I think the Cardinals really, really like Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, but I don't know if they would accept it. Um, maybe the Vikings have to 
throw in another first round pick or maybe number, another third, but this would be most likely to get a guy like J.J. McCarthy. And maybe the Vikings do have to throw in another first round pick to go get the Michigan quarterback. Well, let me know if you guys would do that. Would you trade three first round picks, 11, 2023, 20, and the 2025 20, first round pick for the Michigan quarterback, J.J. McCarthy? My answer to this, hell yeah. I would definitely do it. I think McCarthy is going to work out. And I think specifically in Minnesota, we would see him flourish. And when I'm evaluating quarterbacks, I feel like too, too many people just look at, you know, you know, what they did on tape last season, and they don't necessarily project too, too well. In terms of me projecting what J.J. McCarthy could be in the NFL, I think he could be a stud. I think he could be a borderline top 10 guy and maybe even live up to the potential of being a guy like Joe Burrow. You know, I've seen that comparison thrown out there, and, you know, it's a lofty comparison, but I don't necessarily hate it. But let me know if you guys would trade three first-round picks for J.J. McCarthy. I got two more trade ideas coming up for you guys in just a second. But first off, I want to tell you guys about the sweet deal we have going on at chatsports.com slash Vikings jersey. If you guys hit that link and uh, check it out, you guys could pick up an Aaron Jones jersey today. They got a sweet, sweet deal going on right now. So if you guys want to help me out, help support the show, and rock a pretty sweet jersey uh, next season at U.S. Bank Stadium. I'll tell you what, this would be my number one jersey if I could pick, like, any Vikings player – uh, against the Green Bay Packers, I'm wearing that jersey two times next season. So if you guys want to get your Aaron Jones jersey, uh, let me know uh, if you guys w or if you guys could hit that link and check it out. Chatsports.com slash Vikings jersey. Let's kick it to trade idea number four here. So this is what I'm going to call my most likely draft day trade. This is with the Minnesota Vikings trading up with the Los Angeles Chargers, giving up picks 11, 23, and a future third round pick. In this scenario, I think J.J. McCarthy falls down the board. The draft would go Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May. Cardinals take Marvin Harrison. And then the Vikings call up Jim Harbaugh in the Chargers front office and say, we are going to give you that offer. Do you accept? I think the Chargers would because, you know, I think the Chargers have a roster with a bunch of holes in it. And I think maybe they would, uh, I think maybe they would do this. And the why I call this my most likely trade is, because I think this is a trade that won't go down until we're right before the Chargers pick. Like, this is something that, like, the Chargers, we get the notification, Chargers on the clock, and us Vikings fans are all freaking out. We're like, we're not taking a quarterback. What's going on? We're not trading up. Then the Vikings come in last second because I don't think the Vikings would risk having a trade up in the NFL draft if it's not in the top four before draft day just in case somebody ends up jumping Minnesota. So I think this is... Probably my most likely, yeah, I'm going to say it. This is my most likely trade for the Minnesota Vikings to go down on draft day. But, hey, obviously we're just going to have to wait and see what goes down next weekend. But trade idea number five. This is actually thrown out there in a recent mock draft by PFF. And this had um, Drake May falling down the board. And this would be my dream scenario. So this would be the Vikings giving up pick 11 and a fourth round pick and then trading up the pick nine with the Chicago Bears and drafting Drake May. This is what PFF had in their latest mock draft. Actually, their lead draft analyst, Sam Monson, had uh, the Vikings taking Drake May and Michael Penix, which I think would be completely idiotic. But, hey, in this scenario, the Vikings getting Drake May at nine, sign me up for that. That would be another dream scenario for the Vikings, where you would still have your pick at 23 to go get a corner, to go get a defensive tackle, go get an edge rusher, whatever it may be. Like, this would just be... I mean, we would be jumping for joy. If we see Drake May start falling down the board, then the Vikings trade up the nine just in case. Um, they don't want to risk anybody jumping them right there. So, hey, 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 hey. All right, here we go. Let me uh, let me get your guys' thoughts on this. Who will the Vikings draft with their first pick? Maybe it's 11. Maybe you guys think they trade up, but predict it for me down in the comment section who you guys think the Minnesota Vikings will draft in the 2024 NFL draft. As always, guys, want to make sure you guys are subscribed to, to the channel. Trying to hit 25,000 uh, subs before draft time. So if you guys are new here and watch this entire video, I really appreciate it first off. But clearly, we're doing something you like here. So hit that sub button, lock us in, and hey, you're just going to get more Vikings content on your YouTube page if you guys hit that sub button. So I would appreciate it. Hit that sub button. See you guys next time. Skull Vikings. All right, we got a super chat rolling in from Zam Fam. 
Here we go. Zam fam coming in the chat. What up, Zam? $2 super chat saying Giants will trade with Arizona. It makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the Giants are big fans of J.J. McCarthy, so I could definitely see, you know, that being the case. But, you know, I I don't know. I If I had the call right now, a little Patrick Seatman mock draft, I think the Vikings have a chance to go get the second pick. Like, I don't think the commanders love any of these guys. And I think if you truly believe, if you're the Vikings front office and you love Drake May that much, why the F not? Go get your guy. I think the commanders are going to be answering those phones a lot more than us, uh, than us media members do think. But that is the deal of the day. We are going to have every $10 we get, it's going to be a shot of tequila. Um, we got one more segment, and then we're going to have to sign off here. So if you guys do want to uh, support the show, Help me, make, uh, help me make myself look good for my bosses. I would really, really appreciate it. And then also we're going to end up today's show coming up here in a second with a mailbag. Um, if you guys could get those questions in there, hashtag Vikings, or if you guys want to lead the show, start off the show, uh, Super Chat, I'll throw you up there right away. If you got something you really, really want to talk about, um, I would really, really appreciate it, guys. So hashtag Vikings or Super Chat um, to get on the show. Z, oh, Z Cool in the chat. What up, Z Cool? Z Cool, deal of the day. $10 super chat. We're taking shots. It's Roger Bong saying best QB at 11. Roger, we disagree on that, but I don't hate it. Like, that's the thing. Like, I have what I would want to do. But overall, I think this is going to work out for the Vikings. Like, I really do. No matter if they take Penix at 11, they send the Godfather offer up to Washington and draft Drake May, no matter what happens. I think it's all going to work out as time man saying school Zam fam. Yeah, shout out to him, man. Shout out to Zam fam in the chat. Yeah, but we're going to be getting into a mailbag here. So if you guys want to lead the ship, I'm literally just going to be answering questions on the fly. It's going to go out probably this Sunday on the channel. Um, so if you guys uh, if you guys do want to, um, help me out. Help me out. Oh, Scaperoni coming in with a... $10 super chat. Um, I appreciate you. I'm actually going to lead off the mailbag with this super chat. Um, really do appreciate it. I don't see the Vikings being able to pull the trigger on giving away that big of a trade with so many firsts, even though it makes sense. Hey, we're going to lead today's show talking about that. Um, I like that a lot. Scrapperoni, I appreciate you. Everybody give me a skull. Scrapperoni in the chat. Great name, by the way. Scrapperoni. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Oh, and it's looking like we're going to have to go back-to-back -back shots here. Scaperoni. Oh, Scaperoni. My bad, not Scraperoni. Scaperoni. Shout out to you. <coughs> Woo! Here we go. We see shot glasses are a little smaller, huh? We see shot glasses are a little smaller. Let's go. But then my man Z Cool saying, drink up, brother Z Cool. I appreciate you, man. Give me some right there. That's my brother, Z Cool, joining the real ones. It's Scaperoni saying Skull as well. Love you guys showing love to people who send in super chats. It's my favorite thing here. But we'll take a shot for my man, Z Cool. As oh no, it looks like Roger Bong wants me slurring words on this last segment. But we'll take this one for my man, Z. Shout out to you. Pour it up. Here we go. Oh, we're, we're getting loose, fellas. We're getting loose. We're getting loose. Yeah, we're going to need to chase that one as well. Don't yell at me if I'm chasing this. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. But my man Roger Bong coming in with another $10 super chat saying, keep it going, Roger. Let's just, let's just go back to back to back, huh? Let's just go back to back to back. I don't get to come on here too often. We only get these, uh, man, that hurt. We only get these live shows once a week, um, and I love it. Is that iced tea? Um, no, it's not iced tea. It's 1800. Uh, 1800. I think it's my favorite. Um, I think it's my favorite tequila, that or Patron. But I don't know. It's 1800. It's actually going down pretty smoothly right now. Normally, I don't like 1800, but today it's having a or it's hitting nice. It's hitting nice. So Roger, shout out to you, man. Oh my God. All right, fellas, you guys, uh, you guys definitely got me going before this mailbag. You guys definitely got me going before this mailbag. 
I threw it out there, $100 super chat. I'll do a boot, and also do this. We'll end the show on a bang. I'll, I'll do the boot after the segment. Or <laughs> yeah, definitely after the segment now. Definitely after the segment now. But my man, Zam fam, let's go, Zam. Keep it going. Keep it going. You can run my race car on that stuff. Yeah, no, Tim, this is, this is something right here. This is something. Last one was a half a shot. All right, fine. I'll pour up a little more on this one. I'll pour up a little more. But Zam fam saying, I think the Vikings feel so great about the draft because Penix is going to be a great QB. Our roster is real. Skull. I agree, Zam fam. That's why, like, even though I'm in the camp where I want the Vikings to trade up and draft Drake May or J.J. McCarthy, but also I'm more than okay with the Vikings sitting there at 11 and just saying, we're getting Michael Penix. Like, I am more than okay with that because I think Michael Penix is a really good quarterback. And I think the Vikings offer the best support system in comparison to anybody in the NFL. So even though I may disagree with you, um, I still think you're right if, if, you know, if, you know, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, Mark. I got you, Mark. Relax. But everybody give me a skull, ZamFam. Uh, by the way, ZamFam, Pokemon was my, like, favorite thing growing up like I played all the games leaf green fire red emerald sapphire like I was a big Pokemon guy growing up uh so I love to see Pikachu and Ash catch them as your profile pick here we go last shot before the mailbag pour up a hefty one right there Mark you seeing it you seeing it there you go all right here we go cheers hit the table shout out to you guys Yeah, <clears throat> that one actually went out <laughs> right as I said that. Woo! All right. All right. Are we ready to go? Let me just uh, let me just get locked in right here. Let me get locked in. But I'll throw this out there. $50 Super Chat. I'll shotgun a beer the round out today's show. And uh, $100, I actually will be wobbling home. I'll do a boot. I'll do a boot. All righty. Well, we're going to dive into this mailbag right here. Um, appreciate all of you guys tuning in. This has been a ton of fun. I was honestly debating even going live on today's show, but uh, hey, clearly you guys, uh, you guys answered the bell, man. You guys answered the bell, so I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Let's get one thing going. There we go. All righty. Mailbag coming your guys' way as we're going to answer questions from the real ones. Let's get it. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Vikings Now by Chad Sports. My name is Patrick Stevens. Coming up on today's show, we're going to be answering questions from you guys as a part of our weekly live shows. We do every single Wednesday. It is my favorite part of this job where I get to answer questions directly from Vikings fans on the latest topics around your football team. But before we dive into that, I actually got a challenge from my bosses. They want me to up my Twitter game. And, you know, I kind of agree with them. I want to get more active on Twitter. So they challenged me to hit 1,000 followers on Twitter. That is my handle right there, at Pat Seeps. If you guys could help me out, follow me on Twitter. Link for that is in the comment section and description of today's show. I'll give you guys a follow back right away. So if you guys could, link for that, comment section and description. The handle is at Pat Seeps. I'll be tweeting about the Vikings all year long. But I do want to start off today's show with this question coming in, or not a question, but a take coming in from Scaperoni, sending a super chat, so we appreciate you. But we were talking about a potential trade for the Vikings uh, with the Washington Commanders. And he said, I don't see the Vikings being able to pull the trigger on giving away that many, or giving away that big of a trade with so many first-round picks even though it makes sense. So I will pull up the trade that we are breaking down with them heading up or with them trading up with the commanders where it would be the Vikings giving up four first round picks, picks 11, picks 23, and future first round picks in 25 and 26. Now, yes, this is a haul, but I've said this countless times. What if Drake May ends up being Justin Herbert, Josh Allen? What if he is that good? What are we saying about this football team heading into next season? Let's just say we take May, 
He ends up playing the last 10 games of the season, and we're like, holy shit, we got the next C.J. Stroud, Herbert, whatever one of these one qu- or young quarterbacks you want to choose. We're talking about the Vikings legitimately being a Super Bowl contender this season. So I understand it's a lot. Four first-round picks is nothing to joke around about. But I would do it. I would, I would 100% pull the trigger on this. Um, I would do it. I would do it. I know a lot of you guys probably wouldn't, but I would do it. I think it would really end up working out for the Minnesota Vikings. But we do have a first-time Super Chatter coming in here midway through our live show. My man Derek the Kid saying JD5 is our guy. Trust me, we will find a way to get him. Well, JD or Derek the Kid, I think the Vikings might have to trade up the two because I think the um, commanders really like him. I think the Patriots really like him. And if you want to kind of ensure yourself to get the past Heisman winner in college football, you may need to trade up to uh, number two. So, Derek the Kid, I'll ask you this, and anybody else watching today's video, would you take or would you trade that haul of four first-round picks to get your guy? If you guys are watching right now, whether you're a Drake May guy, Jaden Daniels guy, J.J. McCarthy guy, would you trade four first-round picks to go get them? Let me know your thoughts down below. But Derek the Kid, I think no matter what um, – I think the second best quarterback in this year's class would be whoever the Vikings end up selecting. Um, I really do believe it. You know, you're going to give them, and I've said this so many times, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but, you know, you got two wide receivers, two tackles, young offensive head coach, Aaron Jones, a great coaching staff with Brian Flores on that side of the football. So, Derek the Kid, I appreciate you supporting the show. Jaden Daniels is my third option out of May McCarthy and uh, obviously himself, but hey, man, if the Vikings would end up getting him, I would. Uh, I, w- I would absolutely love it. Great segue coming in right now from my man, Roger Bong, saying, what if we give up four first and he is a bust? GBs are so hit and miss. Roger, great question. And my answer to this would be, would you guys all agree that the Vikings are stuck in purgatory right now? Where they're not good enough to go compete for a Super Bowl, they're also not bad enough to just be in the top five and just naturally take a quarterback that high. Well, let's say this. Let's say Drake May's a bust. Vikings do send up that offer. They give away next year's first and the year after that and both first this year. Okay, next year, are we really going to call Drake May a bust at the end of this season? Probably not. End of next year, are we going to fully call him a bust heading into the 26th draft? Maybe, but let's just say he is a bust. And then the following year, that 27 draft, and he is terrible, and with the Vikings giving up that haul, they'll probably be a really bad football team where then you're just back on the clock, potentially top five of that 2027 NFL draft. I understand. It is a lot. But there is no reward without risk. And if you want to be a great team in the NFL, I'm not talking win a division one year. I'm not talking compete for a Super Bowl one season. If Drake May ends up hitting, the Vikings will be competing for Super Bowls for at least the next 10 seasons. I want everybody to imagine this feeling, heading the every year, and we got Josh Allen. We got Justin Herbert. I think it would end up working out. But, Roger, great point. You know, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, but I think it would be worth it. I think it would 100 100% be worth it. But next question coming in here from Rebel Viking, as he's saying, do you think this QB talk is a smokescreen to grab the best CB, D tackle, or a wide receiver three? Possibly. I mean, the only people that truly know what's going on, um, the only people that truly know like what the Vikings' plan is is probably crazy and a couple people really close to him. It could all be a smokescreen, and maybe the Vikings are like, hey, Sam Darnold's our guy, and we got that extra first-round pick from the Texans because we want to get one of the best cornerbacks, maybe a Quinion Mitchell, and then maybe get a Jerzon Newton at 23. Could definitely be the case, but... Uh, do I think it's a smoke screen? Probably not. I think the Vikings are all in on getting a quarterback, but hey, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Rubble Viking, I'm going to go back to back for you real quick. He says, I think May or McCarthy fits KOC system the best. I don't know why people are so down on Bo Nix. Any other year, Nix would be drafted higher. Uh, I agree with that last, part you, uh, last point you just made. Any other year, Bo Nix is probably going first round, no doubt. My only concern with Bo Nix, if you go look, and I, this is a nerd stat, but if you go look at his average depth of target um, on any or on his throws this past season, it's an average of nine yards. 
like a lot of his throws in that Oregon offense were behind the line of scrimmage, where he's getting the ball out quick to his playmakers. And the thing is with Nick's, He's 23, turning 24 years old. Um, I think a lot of people look at him and maybe he's like, oh, he's already close to his ceiling. Like, the thing is with Knicks is like, like, what's his, what's his potential? Like, what's his best case scenario? I just don't necessarily, it's probably a top 15 quarterback in that 10 to 15 range. And I think the Vikings are in a position right now to kind of, you know, go all in and, uh, you know, get a guy that they, really really like and I just don't think Bo Nix is kind of that all in all in move but we'll get to more questions from the real ones here in a second but first I do want to tell you guys about today's sponsor and that is prize picks if you guys head to prizepicks.com slash clns and use promo code clns we're going to match your first deposit up to $100 what is prize picks you may be asking well it's daily fantasy sports and this is how you play you're going to choose more than or less than on two of the six player stat projections and set a lineup, and you guys can start seeing the cash roll in today. Even though the football season is not here, the action on the hardwood is the heating up right now with the NFL playoffs or with the NBA playoffs just around the corner. So if you guys want to get in on the fun, in on the action with prize picks, make sure you guys click that link, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Download the app, and when you're making your first deposit, we're going to match it up to $100 if you use promo code CLNS. I'll put that link for you guys in the comment section and description of today's show. We'll get to, uh, we'll get to um, or you guys will get to have some fun. So make sure you guys do get hooked up with prize picks today. Link for that in the comment section and description of today's show. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. It is prize picks. But Mark was coming in with a $10 Super Chat saying, go for it. Hey, if you know, you know. Mark, we'll get to that after the show, um, and we will take that shot. As he's showing love on our weekly live show, I appreciate it. But Skull Cards coming in saying, what do you think of Jordan Travis? Also, do you think we should trade for Pat Sertan? Okay, interesting one here. Um, I I think Pat Sertan would go for maybe too much. Um and with the Vikings, um, where the Vikings are at right now, I just don't necessarily think that's the best call for them. I think if you're going to use any draft capital, it's going to be the trade-up for a quarterback. I think Pat Sertan's a great player. Um, he's one of the best cornerbacks we have in the National Football League, and it makes a lot of sense. Like, like I get your thought process. Vikings with a need at corner, you know, go trade for Sertan. you got a great cornerback room then. Um, but in terms of Jordan Travis, I like him. Like, I, I think his intangibles – him as a leader, like when I hear him talk, like I'm all in on that guy. Just he's coming off that torn ACL. He's a little older, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Jordan Travis. Hey, take a flyer on him. Let's just say the Vikings do go BPA at 11 and 23. Give me a Spencer Rattler or a Jordan Travis um, in the um, in like the late rounds. I would I would be all in. Brian Sanchez saying honest opinion on Jefferson seemed after his injury last year seemed like he was scared to get hurt overplaying um 100 percent uh so you am i concerned about jefferson uh no i think jefferson like think about this guys when he came back he had nick mullins josh dobbs throwing him the football like i think a little bit of this was and i don't I, i'm not saying jefferson wasn't going fully 100 percent. like i think he does you know you're not that great at anything you do like whether you're an accountant you know tax guy whatever it may be whatever you do in life like plumber no matter what it is like if you're great and you're one of the best in the world at it you give it 110 percent every single time you know you're hitting your shift or you're hitting out there on the football field so um i'm not worried about jefferson and that's why i'm always in the camp that i am not trading him for anything tornado 34 is saying do you believe the commanders need the capital compared to one good quarterback 110 percent Tornado, um, this is why, or this was five reasons why I actually said the commanders would say yes to trading down. Their roster isn't ready. I just don't think they're, uh, they're that good of a team for a rookie quarterback to step in there. Also, number two, they could take a guy at 11 or 23 if they do get a trade with the Minnesota Vikings. Their staff could also be fired. Like, if they go all in, new GM, new head coach, new coaching staff, you go all in on Drake Mayer, Jaden Daniels, and he doesn't work out, I mean, that's definitely something they're considering. And then also these two. 
What if the Vikings send them, like I said, four first-round picks? And, you know, they're definitely going to have to consider it because we did the, did get this report that the commanders don't love any of the quarterbacks, hence why they are meeting with all of them this week. Again, a week before the draft. And with the number one pick for sure being Caleb Williams, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really skeptical if the commanders really, you know, love, love any of these QBs in this year's class. But, hey, again, guys. Nobody knows anything, and we're just going to have to wait and see. But if you guys could, as always, make sure you guys have liked the video so far and also hit that sub button. I would really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching today's mailbag where I answer questions from you guys. Uh, I appreciate it. So as always, thank you guys so much. Hit that sub button on your way out. And as always, skull bikes. My man Mark came in with a 10 during the cut. Mark, I couldn't take the shot on uh, during the show, but I'll take it right now. You guys definitely got me going a little bit, a little more than I thought, but it's okay. Cameron Thompson saying, who's your favorite wide receiver in the NFL? Justin Jefferson. Besides Jefferson, um, Puka Nakua. Actually, Puka. That's how I would go. But Mark, I appreciate you. Cheers to you, my friend. Yeah, we're chasing that fast. Yeah, we're getting, damn, Z-Cool. You're not kidding. We're getting there. We're getting there. But I am going to have to put on a 10-minute shot clock here. Um, unfortunately, we got limited studio space at Chat Sports. Um, so I am going to have to put on a 2-minute shot clock on my phone. If we don't get any more Super Chats, I'm going to have to bounce up on out of here. There it is. But really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Had over 2,500 people click on today's stream, which is freaking awesome. Um, and you guys just showing love. I always, I always appreciate it. It's my favorite time of the week. Just getting on here, chopping it up with you know Zam Fam, Z Cool, Roger Bong, like all you guys. Like it's, it's a great family we have here. And even just seeing you guys, like, like I always look down uh, in the chat, like, and I just see you guys chopping it up, and it's, it is freaking awesome. Tim saying, answer the questions, bro. Oh, okay. If we trade for this pick, sending four first rounders, won't that hurt the future? of our team uh yeah a hundred percent it would but i don't i just want the vikings to get out of purgatory like i understand it's going to hurt the future um of this team but push kind of has to come to shove eventually so it's kind of where i'm at it's kind of where i'm at the vikings should trade the fourth pick and then the cardinals trade for brandon iuk I don't hate that idea. I don't hate that. I could definitely see that going down. I don't know if they would. Uh, the Cardinals and Niners would trade it within the division. Um, but, Tim, I appreciate that. I, I Listen, I'm not saying I know more than even the common viewer who, you know, watches or that stays up to date on the Vikings kind of 50%. But I'm just in the camp where it's like, kind of like, fuck it. Like, fuck it. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Drake May, let's do it. We got Jefferson entering his prime. We got Jordan Addison entering year two. We got Christian Darisol entering his prime. We got the tall Sean McVay and Kevin O'Connell. Screw it. Let's do it. Like, that's kind of where I'm getting at this point. I don't know if this is me, you know, as we kind of go through this draft process, but you got to do it eventually, man. That's the thing. You got to do it eventually. The Vikings, it's right now. It's right now. But our two-minute shot clock is up. I'll give you guys an extra 10 seconds just in case. But really do appreciate you guys tuning in today. We're going to sign off here, though. Um, Tim, double knuck, shout out to you. Um, Cameron saying, who's your favorite cornerback? Sauce Gardner. In this draft, Quinion Mitchell. All right, we're going to bounce on out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's show. As always, Skull Vikes, baby. See you guys on draft night next Thursday. Everybody be there. Deuces. Are we back? Are we back? Z cool. Oh no. We almost just signed off. Almost just clicked end stream. And then Z cool came out. We got it. Let's go. Oh my God. We are back. Z cool. My man came in at the buzzer. Oh my God. Boom. Z cool. Let's go. Pour one up to that. Z cool. I literally had my mouse on end stream. And then you came in there at the last second. That's what's up, Z-Cool. 
Shout out to you. Cheers to my man right there. Saying we need to go somewhere, take the risk. We built the culture. Believe in the staff. <laughs> this guy knows who or this guy knows ball, man. Z cool. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh I'm honestly just happy I'm starting to convince you guys on this a little bit. Um, because it is a lot. Like it is a lot. I understand. Four first round picks to trade up, man. Like it's a lot. But also, look at what the Rams did. They won a Super Bowl with the motto saying F them pick. Go get good football players, man. So, Z Cool, cheers to you. Take another shot. I think this is like eight. <coughs> you guys are going to have me going, man. You guys already got me going. Woo! Man, shout out to you guys, though. Shout out to Z Cool. Um, can I ask you guys a question before we sign off? Are you guys going to tune in next Thursday to my draft show? Will you guys tune in? We are going to be doing it with our Saints show, so it's going to be a little crossover. But obviously when the Vikings are close to picking, um, obviously when the Vikings are close to picking, like we will be going full Vikings mode. So let me know. Will you guys be there? Um, Cameron saying, yeah, Zam fam. Yeah, Z cool. Don't worry about it. I'm walking. Don't worry. That's also why I kind of like getting on here, hanging out with you guys. I walk to work, so you know I can just walk home. Z cool skull. That's awesome, Skull Nation. Can't wait. Can't wait. Joe saying, hell yeah. I sent three and I don't see them. Oh, no, Tim. Yeah, I didn't get any from you, Tim. My bad. I don't know if that's on us. Ty, man, I, Ty, man you don't even need to answer that. Ty, man, next time I say that, you say, Seeps, you already know. You already know, Seeps. Ty, man, you're my boy. You're my boy. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to all you guys, man. Shout out to all you guys. Yeah, already Roger Bong. Like, it's like asking Roger Bong, like, hey, Roger, is the sky blue? Like, come on. Come on. You super. Oh, Tim, you sent in a $10 super chat? That's unfortunate. No, Skull Nation, shout out to you. I would be talking to a brick wall right now if it wasn't for you guys. I would not be where I'm at in my career without you guys. Like, that's why I'm, I'm just grateful. Like, I, I, I really am. Like, you know, I think about it all the time. Like, all these guys that, like, I mean, Z Cool, join the channel this offseason. We're buddies now. Like, I actually feel like I know who Z Cool is as a person. That's why... Unfortunate. Yeah. Tim, it's all good. Maybe uh, maybe draft day. Maybe maybe draft day goes through. You know what? I'm about to sign off. Oh, never mind. I was gonna I was gonna do a free shot for my man Tim, but Roger Ball. My man Raj. Saying Skull Vikings family. Yes, yes, yes. Not yet. We're not going nowhere. Bosses can pipe down out there, huh? Let's go. Love you, brother Tim. Love you too, man. Appreciate you always tuning in. Um, it's awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff today. Great stuff. I was I, I was debating going live today, um, just because it, like I was working my ass off to get live. Like it was a stressful couple of hours before I hopped on here, but ended up working out. Ended up working out, and you guys just showing love. Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Ty, man, go Bulls tonight. You better be there. Time, man, we're going to be going. We're going to be going for that bullish stream. Let's go. Uh, for all the Timberwolves fans in here, how are you guys feeling about the Sun Series? I'll ask you guys this as we're closing it out. How are you guys feeling about the Sun Series? If you guys are hoop heads. Because I think the Timberwolves are going to win in five. That is my prediction. I found this channel when I couldn't watch the Lions game, the second one last year. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, also, if you guys could let me know, like, when'd you find the channel, um, that would be freaking sweet, too. Joe saying, you rocking it. Joe, you rocking it. But cheers to my man, Raj. Cheers to you. Got lock in for this one, Roger. I'm going to be stumbling out of the studios. Boss is going to be like, what happened in there? Why are you so buzzed? First off, I'm not buzzed. I'm. Cheers, you guys. I won't say much more. Woo! 
Oh, Tim, I love that. Tim, I love that. Wolves don't howl at the sun. They attack it. Would you guys, I'll, maybe if this could work, a little watch party on the channel for like a game seven of Wolves Suns. Like, I could maybe swing the bosses to have me go live for an NBA watch party. I don't know. I don't know. I think that would be pretty fun. Because that would be just us hanging out, watching the game, having a couple of drinks. Um, no! <laughs> Zam fam! All right, all right. This might have to be the last one. This, 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 this will be the last one for I'm not completely stumbling out here. Thank freaking God. These are small shot glasses. This is the last one. Hey, if you guys still want to support the show, too. If you guys still want to support the show, they can come in. But I'm going to cut myself off after this one. Zam fam, shout out to you, man. I appreciate you. Zam fam, I got you one more. I got you one more just because you're a real one. But then after this, oh, my God. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We, yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, even though these are these are small, look at that, guys. Even though these are smaller, still adds up to like five real shots. Um, back to half, Mark. We got bosses out there. Yeah, we did a number on this today, fellas. So shout out to you. Shout out to you. Also, we're being healthy. Just straight tequila. All right, all right. Are you guys ready to get out of here? We good. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all a lot. But we're going to bounce on out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Tim, yeah, I'm going to wake up tomorrow with a massive headache. Because I still have another live show to do today. So that's going to be fun. Um, but, yeah, appreciate you guys. We're going to sign on out of here. Shout out to all of you. Um, as always, as always, Skull freaking Vikes, baby. Cannot wait till next week. Cannot wait. See y'all there.